Hi guys, today the doors of the Spiel will close for the last time this year. And there comes an end to the time we spent with our heads in the cloud. It started five days ago with the warm-up day and the press conference. But with every morning that comes, you realize that another day is gone, another balloon has popped and you circle back closer to the ground. Tomorrow, everything is back to normal. This week, I am playing a game that has been hard to miss during the Spiel. They had quite a bit of real estate with its bright colors. This week I am playing Hop. In Hop, each player chooses a character, receives five balloons and up you go. When it is your turn you choose a skewerer. That person needs to hold up his finger and you try to hurl a rainbow around that finger. The other players take bets on it either succeeding or not. When the rainbow is caught you level up and you and the skewerer receive a cloud with points. If the other players were right in predicting the outcome they receive a dove and three doves can be turned in for a cloud with points. If they were wrong they receive a crow and three crows will pop one of their balloons. Now what I haven't told you yet is that before the hurler gets the throw he needs to draw a dare card giving constraints to either the hurler, the skewerer, maybe put in a turbulator or an assistant and that mixes up the game in a real fun way. The game is over when someone reaches the highest level in the clouds or loses all of his balloons. Then you add up your level and the points you got with the clouds and that determines who the winner is. Me and my friends enjoyed playing hop, although throwing under normal circumstances without constraints can be challenging enough. But we already house ruled it that when a kid is involved he gets extra chances to get it right. We had fun playing this new Essen release, hop. My name is Dave Luzard, thanks for watching.